In this lecture, we talk about speed. Speed, by definition, is distance over time. For example, if the distance is 100 km and it takes 2 hours, 100 divided by 2 is 50. The unit is km per hour. Sometimes we will use a slash to represent P, so it's kilometer per hour. This is the normal speed of a car in the city. We normally will use S to represent speed, B to represent distance, and T to represent time. So S is equal to D divided by T. Alternatively, speed times time is equal to distance, so 50 km per hour times 2 hours, the distance will be 100 km. S times T equal to D. The idea is easy. Now let's see some real questions. This is 2011 AMC problem 9. Let's pause the video and take a look. Okay, let's see it. So Carmen takes a long bike ride. The graph indicates the mile traveled during the time of her ride. What's the average speed for the entire ride in mile per hour? So here, you should be careful with the unit. Here the unit is asking for miles per hour. And what's the average speed? Uh, we normally see speed, but what is average speed? You can see here, the speed is, is not a constant. For example, here in one hour, traveled five miles. So for the first hour, the speed will be five miles per hour. In the second hour, two hours, it traveled 15. So 15 divided by two, you get 7.5. So the speed is different. So it's asking for the average speed means in total seven hours it covered 35 miles so the average speed will be distance 35 divided by time 7 is 5 miles per hour okay let's see the next one it's 2020 problem 11 let's pause the video and see if you can get it Okay, let's take a look. After school, Maya and Nami head to the beach, six miles away. That's the distance. Maya decided to bike. Nami took a bus. The graph below shows their journey. The time, time here is the time. In minutes, this is 10 minutes, 30 minutes. What was the difference in miles per hour between their average speed. So we have to find their average speed each and find their difference. And the unit is miles per hour, which means when we are calculating speed, so let's say Meyer and then Naomi. For Meyer, the distance is six distance in mile. Miles is six and the time in hour, so mile is 10 minutes. 10 minutes is the same as one six hour. For Naomi, the distance is also six. Oh, it's, oh sorry, it's opposite. Naomi, the time is 10 minutes. For mile, it's 30 minutes and uh, it's half hour. Let's refer to the formula. Speed equal to distance divided by time. So for Naomi, speed is 6 divided by 1, 6, 36 miles per hour. Yeah, that's the normal speed of a car. And for Meyer, 6 divided by half is 12 
miles per hour. That's the normal speed of a bike. So their difference is 36 minus 12, 24. Okay, let's see the next one. It's 2015 problem 3. Again, let's pause the video. Okay, welcome back. Jack and Jill are going swimming at pole. It's one mile. The distance is one mile from their house. They leave home simultaneously. Jill rides a bike at a speed 10 per hour. Jay work at a speed 4 mile per hour. How many minutes before Jack does Jill arrive? So we are looking for their time difference. The time difference. Let's say Jack, the Jill. For Jack, the distance for both of them is 1. And the speed, speed for Jack is, Jack works. Jack is 4 miles per hour. And the Jill is 10. Let's write down the formula. Distance speed is equal to distance divided by time. So time is distance divided by speed. So distance divided by speed for time for jail is one fourth hour. Time for jail is one tenth hour. And we are looking for their time difference in terms of minute. So one fourth hour is 15 minutes. One tenth hour is six minutes. So their time difference is 9 minutes. Okay, this involves some fraction operation. So make it a bit harder. But the idea is the same. Let's see the last one. It's 2014 problem, 17, or problem 17. As you can imagine, it should be a bit harder. Let's pause the video and take a look. Okay, welcome back. George walks one mile to school. So this is distance, one mile. He leaves home at the same time each day, works at a speed of three mile per hour, and arrives just as school begins. Today, he was distracted the first half, half mile at a speed of only two mile per hour. At how many miles per hour must George run in order to arrive school at the same time? What's the speed? So previously, how long it take her to take George to arrive to school? The time is one mile divided by three. This is one over three hour. Or 20 minutes, right? And um, today he was distracted. So the first journey, first half journey, distance by by time, he already used one fourth hour. That means for the rest of the journey, he only leave with one third minus one fourth, that is one twelfth hour. This is the time. And uh, we are looking for the speed. Speed is equal to distance by by time. Here the distance for the rest of journey is half miles. And the time is one twelfth hour. So one half divided by one twelfth, six mile per hour. Yeah, so the idea, like I said, the idea is simple, but normally when involved fraction operation, it will getting a bit harder. So just focus on the speed. Just focus on the formula. Speed equal to distance over time. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's see you in the next lecture.